Your iStatus COVID-19 antigen home test is accurate and simple to perform. Please carefully read the instructions in your test kit. This video will walk you through each step and provide a visual cue of how to take the iStatus COVID-19 antigen home test. The cartridge will determine your result. The control line and or the test line will appear at the end of the test. Remember, your iStatus COVID-19 antigen home test is for single use only. Once you've performed the test, it cannot be reused. Results should be read within 15 minutes and no more than 30 minutes. The test requires four main steps. Setup, collecting a nasal sample, adding the sample to the solution, and reading your results. Your kit comes with a test cartridge, a nasal swab, a buffer vial, a buffer vial cap, a vial holder, and a package insert. We also recommend getting a timer ready, such as your smartphone, to correctly time the test for your results. In addition to the test kit, a timer and a trash bin are required, but not provided with the test kit. Before you start, read the instructions provided with your test kit carefully and completely. You will need the vial holder from the box during the test, so place it open on a flat surface near you. Test setup. Wash your hands thoroughly for at least 30 seconds before the test. Allow the iStatus COVID-19 antigen home test to come to room temperature before use. Unpack the components from the pouch kit and lay them out on the table in front of you. Next, remove the cartridge from its packaging and lay it flat on the table. Tear off the foil seal of the buffer vial and place the vial into the vial holder. Remove the test swab from the sterile packaging and avoid touching the soft pad with your hand. Nasal sample collection. Gently insert the swab with soft pad no more than 3 quarter inches into the left nostril. Then slowly rotate the swab at least five times in a circular path for 15 seconds. Once complete, carefully remove from the left nostril. Next, place the swab directly into the right nostril, repeating the process of rotating at least five times in a circular path for 15 seconds. Carefully remove the swab from the right nostril. Please refer to public health guidelines for anterior nasal swab specimen collection if you have questions during the sample collection. Test procedure after nasal sample collection. Place the swab into the buffer vial and rotate to stir the swab vigorously at least five times. Further rotate to stir the swab another five times while squeezing the sides of the buffer vial. Next, remove the swab by rotating against the buffer vial while squeezing the sides of the vial to release the liquid from the swab. Safely discard the swab after use. Insert the buffer vial cap containing the sample and push firmly to close onto the vial until the cap is tightly secured. While holding the top of the vial with one hand, flick the bottom of the vial with your other hand to thoroughly mix the solution. Slowly turn the vial upside down Pinch the vial and add three drops to the sample well on the cartridge. It is okay if the first drop contains bubbles. This will not affect the test results. Start your timer. The results of your test can be read in 15 minutes. The test results should not be read after 30 minutes or more have elapsed. Read the test results. Your result is negative if the cartridge shows only a control line. This means that the virus that causes COVID-19 was not found in your sample. The control and test lines may appear red or purple. Your result is positive if both the control line and the test line are present. This means that the virus was found in your sample. If your test result is positive, it's important that you immediately reach out to your healthcare provider for additional confirmatory testing and follow home isolation guidelines. Your test is invalid if no control line is present. This is true even if the test line is present without a control line. The control line must appear to indicate the test was performed correctly. After the test, please dispose of your test carefully in the trash bin as per the safe handling guidelines. Please note, the test kit is not suitable for recycling. For more information, please visit us at www.istatus.com.